episode 216 and we're here live in southwest Florida specifically at Bonita Beach and we're waiting on the sun to rise over the buildings and the trees to the east and this is the Gulf of Mexico behind me We've got a really beautiful smoky sunrise this morning lots of beautiful grays and blues with little pops of yellow gold and peach in the background if you're joining me live please say good morning and let me know what you're working on or if you have any questions for me hi edna and judy see lots of names scrolling by but i missed them so far good morning mar grace christy chantel dj thanks everybody for joining me live i am still working on one of my baskets hi sherry and cynthia and lily so glad you all could join me this morning. We have a beautiful sunrise to enjoy together. And if anybody has any questions, please feel welcome to ask them or share anything you want or just tell me what you're working on this morning. Lisa's working on a boho bag, wonderful. Hi Karen, hi Connie, hi Grace. Hi, Kat and Terry and Christy. Thanks, Mar. I love the pattern on the basket, too. It's a lot simpler than you, I mean, as far as color work goes in knitting, I think slip stitch mosaic is by far the easiest one to learn. Um, they all have their uses and pluses and minuses, and if you're good at lots of different color work, you may not agree with me, and that's okay, but I talk to a lot of people who are beginners at both knitting and crochet and so I like to explain new techniques in terms of what is a great place to start learning something. Lisa bought three of this top. That's awesome. I think I have four colors of it now. I have the black which I love and this is the darker plum purple. I have a bright lime green and a bright orange I think. Yes, I think those are my four colors. I love this top. Hope watching the ad helps you be there in nine seconds. I have no idea, Leanne. I didn't even know that. Thanks, Donna. I love this top, too. It has the cold shoulder, which I love. It has bat wing sleeves, which are very forgiving for rolls. And then it has, and then it's slightly fitted in the waistband, which I just think that that V silhouette is very flattering, regardless of what size you are. I also think that it's uh, also pretty forgiving of, um, large bust when you don't want to show it. Sometimes early in the morning is not the time to focus on curves. <laughs> uh, Serena hat and dress to the nines wrap. That's great, Christy, or Nikki. Thanks, Judy. I feel good in this top. I like the silhouette and I like the way it fits on me and it's extremely comfortable. So you know how I talk about things in terms of pajamas, right? <laughs> it's the kind of top that doesn't feel like I'm wearing clothes. It feels like I'm still at home in my pajamas. And anything that I can wear that feels like that but doesn't look like that is a win for me, especially early in the morning. <laughs> I know that's a silly way to describe clothes. The name brand of my jeans. I wear Chico's jeans and I have those popped into my Amazon shop as well for those of you that are looking for the specific jeans that I wear. Um, I wear the Chico's jeans that are called so, Sli Girl so Slimming Girlfriend or Girlfriend So Slimming and it's because they have this incredible panel in the belly. There's some, there's some sort of panel in here that's supposed to help suck you in a little bit and I do feel like it does because I don't get muffin top in these jeans and I think it's because they have the right kind of really forgiving stretch in them. They suck you in without making you bulge out the top. I know that's an awful way to describe it, but those of you who wear, like to wear tight jeans know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and it's a jean that does not make me feel overly lumpy at the top edge. So that's why I like them. Yes, it is really calm and the reflection's beautiful out here this morning. Look at all those yellows and golds and peaches on top of the grays and the blues, even a little bit of green in the front. Really pretty. Yeah, I don't get muffin top in these jeans and I'm guessing it's because of the incredible amount of stretch that they have in them. 
Um, Chico's is owned by White House Black Market, or the same conglomerate that owns both. And I've liked their jeans in the past before too, but my favorite right now are the Chico So Slimming. And if you go to my Amazon shop, amazon.com slash shop slash Kristen Amdahl, uh, you can see some of the ones that I wear here um, on camera. I think that's all I wear right now. I think those are the only jeans I'm wearing. I do like Lucky Brand jeans as well, but I like them better when I'm thinner. Um, they're less forgiving and that's fine when you're thinner. Um, I like things a little more forgiving when I'm heavier. That's just me. <laughs> Hi, Elisa. I think I saw Lisa and Jane. Thank you for joining me. Oh, you're welcome, Lisa. My pleasure. It's like being able to share your clothes with your girlfriends or going shopping with your girlfriends, right? Um, to be able to share what I'm shopping and to be able to uh, all talk about the same clothes. It's like we got to go shopping together, right? I love it. I think it's fun. Okay, where was I now? I might be at the end of the second row. That has two, that has two, that has two. Aha! Okay, so it's time to change color again. I think. I, I made a mistake. Let me go back. I might have to set it down for a minute. <laughs> Oh, someone else got this shirt in brown. That's great. Yeah, it came in tons of colors, lots of sizes. I wouldn't mind getting a few more colors. I don't... Uh... Donna, I what I would suggest for bras is to go to a store that has bra specialists that can size you. It would either be a department store or a Victoria's Secret and Chico's brand Soma. Either one of those stores have good people to size you or go to a, your local department store, whether you have Macy's or Dillard's or whatever department stores are in your area. And if you go to their lingerie department, they will have uh, someone that can size for you. And um, it'll really help you to feel better in your bras when you find something that's good quality that is sized properly for you. Let's see, what did I miss while I was talking? Hi, Marianne. A little slow on the uptake with the comments this morning. Once I start talking, it's real hard to keep going. I did not see the Beach Bunny yet today. Jane's asking about, hey, Jane, I got your email, but there was no picture attached to it. Bye, Lily, but thank you for your email. I got lots of emails yesterday and did not get a chance to reply to any of them. Apparently, I sounded pretty sad on Yarn on the Beach yesterday, and I'm sorry for everybody feeling worried about me. You know, I try to be transparent and share my life with everybody, the ups and downs, because I think it's important to realize that everybody is more the same than they are different. And, um, you know, sometimes I think I, I don't mean to intentionally make anybody worried, I'm just trying to, you know, be real. And yes, I am feeling better today. Um, you know, not that I have a solution or anything to my problems, but none of us really ever do, right? You just have to keep rolling with it. Uh, but I thank you very much to all of the well wishes. I got lots and lots of comments and messages and emails, and I'm sorry I did not get a chance to reply to them, but I appreciate them very much. Thank you. Yeah, everybody has ups and downs, Mar. Yes. Uh, Chris has a jar full of shark teeth. That's awesome. Yeah, we used to collect shark teeth too. Hi, Donna. Good morning. All right, so I brought a little goodie box this morning. I have this box here, and it is filled with mini samples of Be So Fine yarn because I thought it would be fun to show everybody all the different colors side by side and specifically do this because I am looking to do those two really beautiful Zen shawls right now which I think are going to take four or five colors of Be So Fine yarn so you'll probably want to get four or five tidbits to make it and what we're going to do 
is try to change the color. You could either do color block stripes and just do all of one color, all of the next color, or do changing size of stripes. So large to small with the first color, small to large, and then alternate so that the colors fade together like a gradient. So there'll be a different ways to do it, but we're gonna do them on really small knitting needles and crochet hooks and make them about 72 inches wide by 18 inches tall so we can get, um, so we can do a really long drapey scarf or a beautiful wrap. So anyways, that's the idea. So I wanted to show you some of the colors up close and then show them to you side by side. So here we have Passionate Plum and Lavender's First Romance pink damask, crushed berries, wow, it looks like they're lining up nicely, and tropical hot coral. So there's some pinks. Let's see if I can pull them out together again. And then we've got sangria. Okay, we'll hold up sangria with this one. So we've got Parisian Bordeaux, sangria, pure gold, Tuscan Terrace. Ooh, I like those together too. Very fall. Let's see if I can find a fifth color that goes with these. You know what? Aloha Blue. Those would be really beautiful too. And then what are we going to do next? So next we'll do Blue Danube, Care, um, Calypso Lime, Caribbean Turquoise, Celestial Blue Mist, Oops. <laughs> ah! Celestial Blue Mist, and then Moonstone, and then we've got Jaded Peacock, Lilac Memories, Stormy Sea, Harbor Fog, Ice Silver Fox, and I didn't mean to exclude these two, but we've got Chantilly Lace and uh, Raven, which I got to tell you, just to do, to get two full balls of these and do those stripes back and forth in black and white would be awfully beautiful too. So now I didn't even, I wasn't intending to do them in color sequences like this, but now that I did, check this out turn the camera down so you can see. Look at how pretty they are lined up as color sequences for these shawls. So there are those blues and greens that we just did. And then here were the pinks and purples we did first. And then a different set of blues and greens. And then those earthier ones that we did. So before I tilt the camera back up, I'm going to read them out loud to you. So we've got Parisian Bordeaux, Sangria, Pure Gold, Tuscan Terrace, and Aloha Blue. Here we have Moonstone, Celestial Blue Mist, Caribbean Turquoise, Calypso Lime, and Blue Danube. Here we have Passionate Plum, Lavender's First Romance, Pink Damask, Crushed Berries, and Tropical Hot Coral. And here we have um, Iced Silver Fox, Harbor Fog, Stormy Sea, Lilac Memories, and Jaded Peacock. I have no idea what I'm going to pick. <laughs> and then we have um, Ray, uh, Raven and Chantilly Lace. Now, that's just, of these two dozen colors, that's just what my first gut reaction was for picking colors. I mean, seriously, you could go in a million directions still. If anybody wants to um, mix and match these more we can do that too like we could just pick all the let's pick all the dark colors and see how they look next to each other Ooh. oh look at that for fall we've got pure gold raven care uh, jaded peacock blue danube and parisian bordeaux that would be beautiful that would be beautiful and let's go with all the lightest colors and see what happens That might be these. <gasps> Look at this. So now we've got Chantilly Lace, uh, Celestial Bl Blue Mist, <laughs> um, Pink Damask Hair, and you made me laugh, <laughs> uh, Harbor Fog, 
and ice silver fox. Look at that. Look at that with the sky. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what else could we go with now? Oh, let's pull out all the colors that are in some of the variegated. So here's Tuscan Terrace, and that looks really beautiful with, with um, Aloha Blue, and Pure Gold, and Crushed Berries, and Caribbean Turquoise. And you can see all the colors that pop out of that one like that. With, I think this, if you were gonna do two colors, I think those are really pretty together too. All right, so let's see what other, okay, then we've got, I'm gonna do that for all of the variegated. So we've got Sangria here. Sangria would be beautiful with, let's see, we'd start with Pure Gold, Crushed Berries, Passionate Plum, and maybe even the Coral. That would be really pretty together. And then if you wanted to skip the variegated, what other color would we put in there? Those four, no, I like it with the variegated. That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'd like to do all of these too. You know, the shawls are gonna take a long time to make. Oh, I just pulled, a, just by setting, you know, this could be like pickup sticks. Does anybody remember pickup sticks when you were a kid? Um, I feel like every time I set them down, I inadvertently make a new color combination together. So look at, Look at how beautiful these four look together. And maybe even putting in with the Parisian Bordeaux. Isn't that beautiful? Let's see, what else could we put in that? No. No. Yes, look at that. That has like a really muted southwest feel to it, I've, for some reason, to me anyway. So we've got uh, Lavender's First Romance, Crushed Berries, Tropical hun, uh, tropical, uh, tropical hot coral, pure gold, and pink damask. Uh, you know, there's yarn for everybody out there. If you don't like my yarn, you're more than welcome to buy anything else. No one has ever, I've never forced anybody to buy my yarn. <laughs> I don't care. Um, I'm here to uh, share what I love and uh, more power to you if you want to go somewhere else, it's no problem. Uh, Sangria and Parisian Bordeaux. Yes, absolutely. That has a real nice pop to it. See, we could even pull in, I think that would be really pretty with the pure gold. I wonder if that would even, yeah, I kind of like going with Jaded Peacock too. I think that's really pretty, it has a nice contrast to it. What else could you pull in there? Yeah, I think that's a good start. Oh, and then I had one other. Here's another variegated. We've got Moonstone, and Moonstone might just be pretty with these four that just happen to be sitting on my leg. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Jane, I appreciate the support. Sangria with the pinks and purples. Okay, so this is Harbor Fog, Ice Silver Fox, Blue Celestial, Celestial Blue Mist, Moonstone, and Chantilly Lace. Uh, sangria with the pinks. Okay, so we'll go back to Sangria with, starting with Crushed Berries, Tropical Hot Coral, and yes, these are all in my shop now. Uh, and I'll have new colors tomorrow. I should have all of the shadow collection dried by tomorrow. Oh, sand shell, just go back and watch when you're not driving. So then we have Sangria with Crushed Berries and, let's see, let's move the order of that, and Crushed Berries, Tropical Hot Coral, and gold, let's see, would this one look good with that? Maybe not. Let's see, what else could we grab in there? Maybe the purple, might be a little too much though. Let's try a different purple. No, let's see, I think blue might look pretty in there. The blue might be a nice pop in that. You know, the Parisian board Bordeaux too, that would be pretty. Moonstone and Silver Fox is what Sandshell likes. That's great. 
color is so much fun. I have so much. Okay, now I'm seeing these four. You know, you could add whatever color goes, you know, whatever color you gravitate towards. You know, gray might be pretty with this. So then we've got a blue Danube, jaded peacock, lilac memories, stormy sea, and ice silver fox. Yeah, these would be, if you were doing that shawl, you could buy these in the tidbits. And uh, you could also get any of these in full-size balls if you're doing uh, something else. KB wants to see jewel tones. Okay, so jewel tones. Let's see, we'll pull. So we've got Blue Danube, Jaded Peacock, Passionate Plum, Crushed Berries. What else would we put in there? Lilac Memories would be pretty in there. Stormy Sea would be pretty in there. I actually like the idea of Aloha Blue for a pop of color. Uh, yeah, a lot of yarn tangles easily. Donna, what do you mean by tangling? Do you mean tangling... Uh, when you're winding it, yes, fine yarn is actually pretty complicated to wind. Uh, I do wind a lot of the yarn for my customers and also it does still can get tangled if you're not careful about paying attention to where the tail is. Um, you know, but you know, when you're putting thousands of or thousands of feet or hundreds of yard, hundreds and hundreds of yards together in a ball, you do have to be careful and pay attention to the yarn. Um, but that's, that's just the nature of yarn. I don't know if it's more likely to tangle than a y another yarn, but yarn does have a tendency to tangle. I mean, it's just the nature of the beast. Just like hair has a tendency to tangle. You've got lots of strands all sitting next to each other. It just takes patience and paying attention to make sure that um, you have a successful experience with yarn. All doable you see lots of people here uh, have made projects with finer yarns and my yarns specifically but uh, you just have to be careful and just like with anything else you learn you learn the tips and tricks along the way <laughs> uh, not sure KB you're gonna need um, I'm trying to write the patterns for four colors right now but um, I wanted to do five, but it looks like the pattern is being written for four colors right now. I don't have them set sold in kits yet right now. I just thought it'd be fun to show you the colors. Um, but, you know, and you can make anything you want in them. But the patterns, obviously I haven't made the patterns for either of those shawls yet. So I don't have a kit for that unless I figure out how to do a mystery crochet along or mystery knit along. I don't know what those are. But I guess that's a way that we could work on stuff without pictures. I've never done one before, so I'd probably have to ask you guys what that means. Um, and just kind of guess at how much yarn it would take. But I'm admitting that I'm asking to learn something new, so I'm happy to hear your feedback on that. But I think it'd be, they'd be fun projects to bring here to the beach, and I could be working on mine, and you could be working on yours at home. Kim's making a necklace scarf. That's wonderful. Sand shell. Um, all I was really doing was showing all of the colors side by side today, but I'm thinking about making some, um, making some rectangular wraps in like four or five colors of these. Um, but to release a pattern, I usually show photos first, but if you wanted to work on the pattern same time as me, I guess we could um, do a mystery knit along and crochet along. I mean, that's one idea I think we could do, but I'm open to suggestions. Yeah, you love that idea? Okay. All right, then let me think about let me work on that, then I'll put together, uh, let's see, to put together a kit, I will have to choose the colors, 
or if you were to choose your own colors, uh, you'd do that by ordering tidbits. So that's the other option. I could curate several sets of colors or in order to do your own, well, that's it. I'll make kits of certain curated color schemes. And then if you want to do something totally different, then you would just order um, the tidbits individually and it won't be a kit. So we could do it that way. How's that sound? Yeah, and then it's something we can all work a lot work on here at the beach. I'm going to do the knit one in garter stitch with stripes and then the crochet one I'm going to do in either half double crochet or double crochet but in stripes. And I've already written the color sequences so that they can change color or if you wanted to just do solid stripes we could do that too. Yeah, okay, I'll work on that then. I'll work on putting the kit together. The weight of the tidbit, uh, the weight of Be So Fine yarn is a number one super fine. KB wants to do both. Me too. I want to do both too. I think it'll be fun to bring both to the beach in the morning and work on one or work on the other. Uh, only Be So Fine yarns available in tidbit size right now. Okay, well I see lots of positive replies, so I will start working on figuring that out on my end. So thanks for your feedback. Sand shell did that with the Morgana shawl. Not sure what you mean. Maybe you did tidbits? Yeah, I think that's what we did. We did tidbits for the Morgana shawl. You're welcome, Beatrice. All right, so I'll pop those back in the box. Oh, look at that, more colors. Yeah, I think I, I think it's going to be four tidbits, so. There we go. It's a little overflowing. <laughs> yeah, I wanted it to be five, but I think I wrote it for four. I don't know. Just if you give me a little time, I will uh, figure it out. Because personally, I would like five colors. So I will put get together the kit. If you're going to do it on your own, I mean, that's fine. But again, the pattern's not completely written. So if you just wait a little bit, I can tell you what I'm going to do specifically. But I'm trying to make the kit and the stripes five because I like odd numbers. And so I started writing the pattern yesterday and I need to rewrite it for five colors. So ultimately the kit's going to be five colors. Um, I wrote it yesterday and I don't like the way it's written so far, so I need to tweak it a little bit more. Um, but as soon as I have the pattern written, and they'll be both Martina, there's gonna be a knit and crochet version of it. And they're both gonna be striped. Uh, maybe I'll just do solid stripes just to make this one easy. Cause then I can just easily do the five stripes. Yeah, we're just gonna do solid stripes. So it's gonna be five solid stripes and uh, Lisa, thank you. This is um, this is Mac. Uh, flat out fabulous. It's a really beautiful, uh, very matte. It's called a retro matte. Um, it's a retro matte magenta hot pink. Yeah, I love odd numbers, especially in stripes. So we'll do five colors. It'll be five tidbits. And if you want to wait for the kit, I will be putting together a kit. If you don't want to wait for the kit, and you just want to order five tidbits, you're welcome to do that now. Um, there will be a kit though as well. So there's that. Um, and you're going to need either a D, size D crochet hook, which is 3.25 millimeter, or you're going to need a set of knitting needles that are 3.25 millimeter. And it's going to be, both are going to be worked lengthwise. So we're going to have super long rows of lots and lots of stitches, but we won't have many rows to do. So that's the way they're going to be done so that we have long vertical stripes or long stripes so that when we wear it, the stripes will lie vertically uh, on our body. It'll be horizontal across the neck and vertical down the sides. And I think that's going to be so pretty. So um, I will put together a kit hopefully today and I'll put it out in a newsletter. So if you've signed up for my newsletter, you'll get an email when the kit's available. And I'll talk about it tomorrow morning too. So how's that sound? Good? 
Maybe we'll call it the Zen scarf to knit or crochet. Martina, it's just about practice. Every, I mean, everybody's had to learn how to knit and crochet from the beginning and everybody learns fine yarn at one point or another. Um, all I can say is that it does get better with practice. Okay, so even if you're new to it and you feel excited to join everybody, it'll be uh, something that you'll just get a lot of practice on and with really long rows, you'll definitely get lots of practice. Yeah, the sun's finally coming out a little bit. Okay, cool. Well, we're almost out of time. Let me turn the camera around so you can see the whole beach. The beach to the south of us looks pretty quiet this morning. Whoops. And there's the sun coming up over the buildings and the trees. The beach to the north of us has a few people, not many. I saw three people swimming this morning. And then our beautiful sunrise with all those pretty colors. All right, let's take this last minute to look out on this beautiful view and soak in the colors and the sounds of the waves and set our intentions for the day. Thanks so much everybody for taking time out of your busy day to spend a few minutes here with me. I hope you enjoyed the sunrise, the sound of the waves, the color of the scenery, chatting with me and everyone else. I also appreciate all the feedback on figuring out our first mystery crochet along and mystery knit along. It's going to be so much fun. Uh, please sign up for my newsletter if you haven't already and I will be sending you an email later today to let you know the details of our mystery projects. and. I think that's it. What else? Oh, all the video, if you check out the video description, there's links to all the things that we talk about here. If you enjoy Yarn on the Beach podcast, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and uh, let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!